Am I in center? I'm not sure if I'm in center. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys can see down by the title, I am showing you my foundation routine. I am going to show you all the products that I use and step by step on how I attain this very flawless foundation routine. I make sure that I prep my skin correctly. I did film that as well. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know my foundation routine, then just keep on watching. For today's foundation, I'm going to be taking my Infallible L'Oreal foundation. If you guys haven't seen my first impression, I'm going to link it up here. It's already up. I forgot to wash my my sponge, so I'll be right back. Now that my sponge is clean, I'm going to dot this foundation on my skin. I start off with a little bit of foundation and then I like build it up because obviously I don't want to have like cake face. I don't want this foundation to look cakey at the end. So I, I start off with a little bit of foundation. Although you think that your foundation matches you perfectly, I always bring it down a little bit on down to my neck because I don't want that line right here. I actually do outline my brows with my foundation. As you can see, I still see a little bit of redness right here. But because I will be using concealer and covering up my dark circles, I'm not going to add more foundation. And now we're going to move on to some cream contouring and highlighting, which I love. For contouring, I'm going to be using my um, Fenty Beauty. This is the matchstick in the shade Truffle. And I just really think that it's like the perfect shade to contour. I just, I feel like it gives me a really nice shade i'm going to be applying it with this real techniques um sculpting brush and i'm gonna just dot this on the brush and i'm gonna start by putting it under my cheekbones and i'm just using stapling motions right here to bring a little bit of that under on my neck I'm going to take just a little bit of that and apply it on my temples right here above the arch of my brow. I'm going to just take my sponge and kind of like blend that contour with the foundation. Now I'm going to move on to um, highlighting and covering up my darker circles. And I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I have it in the shade uh, 20S Light Sand. I'm going to just dot this right here underneath. And a little bit on the bridge of my nose. A little bit on my forehead. And a little bit on my chin. Again, I use a little bit of product at a time. And then if I need more... I go ahead and start building that. I just don't put, apply a lot of product just at first. Next, I'm gonna take my Fit Me powder in the shade 05 Fair, and I'm gonna just apply a little bit of powder to set my under eye, that powder. And then I let that sit there for maybe a minute while I go and um, outline my brows underneath. Now I'm gonna brush this off from my under eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever um, Matte Velvet Skin blurring foundation powder and I have it in the shade Y235 and I'm gonna go in with a Morphe E34 and I'm gonna just tap this onto my skin so with the powder I make sure that I am focusing it more on the areas where I know that I'm gonna get like oily usually my nose is where I get the most the most like oily 
as well as right here on the sides of my nose that's where i tend to like pack on the um powder next i'm gonna go ahead and contour and bronze and bring color back to my face i'm gonna start by bronzing my face and i'm gonna take my mac uh, mineralized skin finish natural in the shade dark and i'm gonna take this morphe m5 530 and it's a fluffy brush and I'm gonna kind of like bronze up my face I usually just put a little bit on kind of like where I usually like contour right here on the outer parts of my face I put a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my nose I'm gonna go in with contouring and for today I'm gonna I usually just combine two um, products this is Hula by Benefit and then I actually combine this one with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour um, Powder in the shade Fawn. I just contour underneath my cheekbones. Bring a little bit on your jaw. And then I like going in with my um, powder brush and kind of just blending that. We don't want any harsh lines. For a blush, I'm going to take my Becca mineralized mineral blush in the shade uh, wild honey this is one of my favorite as you guys can see favorite blushes ever and now for highlighting i'm gonna take the mac um extra dimension skin finish in the shade whisper of guilt which is a a gold highlight and I apply this on the highest points of my face, so on top of my cheekbones, right here. I sometimes put a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks. I put a little bit on the point of my nose, and then on my cupid's bow. A little bit on the bridge of my nose and a little bit above the arch of my brow I'm going to be taking the cry on my couch um, shade right here from the mini controversy palette by Jeffrey and I'm going to take that to set my lids I wish that they would sell this shade as a single because it's like the perfect lid shade then to set my face i'm going to be taking my morphe continuous mist um setting spray and i'm gonna just soak in this and i'm gonna take this fan that i got at a wedding <laughs> so that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there as always all of the products that i use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and until then i'll see you guys in my next video bye